First question, Jonathan Fagan. Hi, PJ. Uh, well, it's been it's been just catching up a little bit. Uh, since you came to the Rockets now, there's only one guy left, so pretty much the whole team has uh, transformed. How does that hit you, uh, if you've thought of it that way or when I bring that up? Um, it's, it's an adjustment every day, just to realize it. Uh, it's me and Gordy. Um, and Gordy don't say much, so it's almost just me because he'd be so quiet. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's totally different. Um it takes some getting used to and figuring out, but uh, guys are figuring it out. Thank you. Mark Berman. PJ, I'd like to ask you one non-basketball question. You're playing on a on a holiday. Uh, do you, given the events of the last, what has happened in the past year, do you feel like this particular holiday takes on added significance? It definitely does. Uh, we just had a long conversation about it this morning and, um, it's a lot more emphasis on it this year. Um, we've always, uh, you know, done everything um, on this date, especially for the games, and giving thanks and appreciation and uh, you know awareness. And now the awareness is just there. You know, it doesn't take Martin Luther King Day uh, to have to think about it. It's more of an everyday thing. So, um, you know, guys are just talking about you know how appreciative they were. It's an opportunity to be able to do what we're doing. Uh, been able the opportunity to play, but. Uh, it's bigger than just us, uh, you know, more things off the court going on now uh, and guys want their voices to be heard. Eric Woodward. What's up, PJ? You, you defended a lot of, you know, elite guys throughout the league and watched a lot of different guys and played with some guys. What's your thoughts on just Zach Levine as he's continued to try to find his way? He's respected as a scorer, but just what have you saw from him from year to year until now? He's gotten better. He's gotten a lot better. Um, he's uh, he's arrived. He's doing his thing. He's uh, scoring at a high rate, uh, at a high clip, and he's uh, good percentages. He's he's really really being aggressive, and he's a really off uh, good offensive threat. Um, well, it's gonna be tough because he's aggressive the entire game, uh, looking to looking to attack. So um, I think he's uh you know he's having a just as good a year as anybody in the league right now, and. Uh, you know, he's keeping his team in the games every single night, uh, even in the losses. Uh, they lose by four, three, four points every night when they do lose. So um, that big game against Dallas, but they 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 uh, they got something with him. Kaylee Griffin. PJ, coach has praised your veteran leadership. He told us how you wanted that final defensive assignment on DeRozan the other night. We saw the little chest bump with him once you got the stop. You have said he's a cool dude, but how has your relationship with him progressed over the last few weeks? Um, just as normal, uh, being around your coach, um, playing a lot, being a voice like I am. Um, you know, that that relationship, that's how, that's how it happens. That's how you... Uh, Know, get to know each other, understand, um, you know, what I understand what he expects and what he wants and the same with me and how I play. So, um, you know, still being a fresh relationship, just getting to know each other. Uh, and it's something that over over time uh, gets better. Christos Saltis. Hello, PJ. I would like to ask you what are your impressions about uh, Victor Oladipo in the team and how different is the look of, uh, of the Rockets with him? I don't know yet. It's going to be his first game, so we'll see. Ali Khan Bajani. Yeah, uh, along those lines, you've played against him previously. He's been an all-star and a great player and a scorer. W what are your thoughts on him as a player and what he can bring to your team from having defended him and watched him afar? I've known Vic for a while. Um, Vic's a really good scorer. He's a good player. Um, you know, he can kind of go all around. He's good at attacking the rim, shooting the ball, making plays. Uh He's, he's kind of an all-around player. And I think, uh, you know, with this group, he fits in uh, pretty good, just, uh, you know, personality-wise as well. So, uh, be interesting to see. Thank you. Adam Wexler. Uh, PJ, like you were talking about earlier, uh, with Martin Luther King Day Jr., et cetera, your Players Association has been very uh, important in trying to make sure this is something that's not just done once or stressed a little bit and got the NBA involved. Where do you think things are now with – the league's involvement, the players' involvement, how strong your voices have been. Um, they've, they've, they've really given us opportunity to uh, 
you know, to be heard, to to actually have guys actually talk and uh, do things, uh, you know, in the community. Um, you know, with everything that's going on in the world, um, you know, you've seen in the bubble, guys really want to step up and, and speak and say, you know, say, say their minds and, and get out there. Um, you know, guys in protest, guys, guys doing everything across the board to try to help. Uh, and I think it's something that the NBA has stepped up and been helping guys with as well, uh, teaming up with the Players Association to to be able to get that out there. So um, I think it's something that's just going to get bigger and keep progressing. And last question, Jonathan Fagan. And just going back to the conversations you said you, you guys had today, was that, you know, everybody in a locker room type of thing, just a few guys talking with one another? Was that with Coach Silas? Or can mm -hmm. you tell us more about that? This is with Coach Silas. Coach Silas brought it up and, um, you know, something he, he always likes to bring up, you know, uh, the issues that's going on out there, uh, you know, before we get into our meets about what we're doing for the game or practice or whatever. So um, it's just kind of, a, you know, his style and what he likes. Thank you. Thank you, DJ. We appreciate your time.